Hey guys, so welcome to part four of my working Iron Man suit. Since part three, I've actually done quite a bit. Uh, as you can see, there's just a lot more stuff I've added. Um, part three, I just had the chest piece and the helmet. So this video, I'm just gonna start top to bottom, uh, work my way through and then just explain everything I've done. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, the helmet I haven't done that much on, but um, basically what I've done is I uh, 3D printed out this grill piece and um, spray painted uh, spray painted the silver and added a few um, and added just a few more parts to the grill uh, for the grill cover. So when you turn it on, as you can see, quite a few lights on the helmet right now, and uh, it looks pretty cool. So all I need to do for the helmet is just make the top piece. And then I'm pretty much done. Uh, there's just something to cover the top part of my head. Yeah, then it should be good. All right, moving on. All right, so basically none of this existed in the last video. So uh, I'll just start with the taser. So basically all this is gonna go on my wrist. Um, this piece is the part that'll fit on my hand. So it's just basically made of a little bit of fabric um, and this band just to keep it on. So this slides on my hand like this. Yeah, then that slides on my hand like this. And now this top piece is the taser. Um, so if I go ahead and grab uh, these two buttons, this one's the switch to turn it on. So I click that, and this one's the switch to actually fire it. So if I press this button, I don't know if you can actually see that. It looks weird on camera. Let me try and get a good shot. Uh, this is so you can just see it a little better. So yeah, it works pretty well. Alright, now we move on to the thing that I've done most. Uh, this is the arm piece. This mounts, or this is going to be holding basically everything that this suit can do. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with this. So, um, alright, so I'll just start off by showing you what the frame's made of. Uh, basically, 3D printed all the black pieces, uh, 3D printed this ring, and 3D printed this, um, these two semicircles, and hinged them together right here. So. Uh, this moves like that to allow my wrist to flip in. Um, I attached these cross pieces. These are just uh, pieces of like plexiglass that I sanded down. Uh, there's lights in them, so this all glows. It's really cool. I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, yeah, th the top two are just epoxyed on, and the bottom two I had to use some fabric. I'm gonna color this in, um, maybe like silver and black, just to kind of make it match a little bit more. Um, but yeah, this slips on my wrist like this. And um, this locking system, just a, a screw with a piece of fabric that just slips on over this. Yeah, it just locks in like that, pretty tight. This is, right here is the biggest piece of the suit. This is the flamethrower. All right, yeah, so what this is, basically um, I got my pilot light right here. I showed you guys that in a previous video. Uh, I got the grill sparker hooked up to it. So um, that's right here right now. I haven't hooked it up to the suit yet, but press that button. That part goes on. I've got my uh, fuel cylinder here, the servo on it. Uh, pull that down. Gas starts coming out. Jump over here. It ignites. Just like that. Works pretty well. It's been pretty reliable. And uh, this is mounted right next to the uh, the main fuel source. Uh, there's a tube. This right here is a. Um, it's basically an electronic uh, on-off valve. I uh, use a magnet to regulate the flow, basically so I can just control it electronically. This runs down here through this tube, uh, all the way over to this thing, uh, which is the fuel cylinder. Um, still working a few things out with this, but basically it's just PVC pipe, uh, end cap, uh, coupled down to this hose valve right here. Uh, yeah, it's just a hose clamp on the end. It's got a uh, bike valve right here, uh, so this can screw onto a bike pump or a CO2 cartridge, like one of those mini bike pumps. Um, so to pressurize that, uh, you can put the, and then you put the fuel in here. I still haven't decided if I want it to be gas or liquid yet. Um, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Basically the pros and cons, liquid will be like just an insane flamethrower, like it could actually do some damage. Uh, gas is just more for show, probably like, and a little bit smaller of a flame. If I was gonna use gas fuel, probably be like butane or something. If I was gonna use a liquid fuel, it'd probably be like 
I don't know, alcohol or lighter fluid or something like that. So anyway, yeah, that's that. This just screws on like this. And um, pressurize it. And then we'll have a button that will release this and it'll just shoot out. Uh, it'll just shoot out and get ignited by this pilot light. And yeah, it'll be so cool. So then if we flip it over to the other side, we've got this laser on here. Uh, 3D printed housing, 3D printed base. Um, there's just a few pieces of uh, this plexiglass just because I wanted the um, these pieces to be sturdy because they have to move and hold stuff and uh, hold the laser. So this this just moves up and down like this. I'm gonna have it servo controlled, but um, yeah, let me show you the laser. There we go. So as you can see, even in the day, uh, you can see it. It's uh, I think like a one watt laser. So pretty powerful. So yeah, this should be cool. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Uh, all these pieces right here glow, so if I attach the battery to this, you can see this whole thing lights up and it looks so cool. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about how this is turning out. All right, let's go take a look at the other one. All right, so yeah, this one's basically just the same thing. I haven't done really anything on this one yet. Uh, what I plan to put on this one is uh, probably this electronic airsoft gun. So that'll be mounted. Uh, I'm gonna trim it down, cut it. I don't know, I might not even use this gun. I might get like a smaller one. But yeah, it's gonna go on top, something like that. So I just picture it a lot less bulky, gears rearranged. Uh, yeah, and I'll have that. Um, this also lights up. I also got some lights in here. Show you that. There we go, same thing. Lights up. Looks pretty cool. Fits on the wrist like that. Just slip it on, uh, slip this part on. Lock the thing, and then this glove goes on like this. So yeah, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna put palm lights on this. But yeah, overall, really excited about how this is turning out. Um, it's it's taken shape. That's 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 what I can say about this right now. Um, hopefully, it'll be done by the end of the summer. That's my goal. Get the main video done. Yeah, I really think you guys are going to like this when it's done. Um, so far, I haven't seen anything else like this uh, on YouTube or just online in general. Um, like, this level of, like, functionality. So, yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, um, share this video around, like me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, posting updates there as well. Um, yeah, if you think any of your friends would like this, don't, uh, go tell them about that. Uh, yeah, so be on the lookout for part five. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.